Hi there. Saturday wrap for Saturday the 6th of March 2021. March, meteorologically speaking, the beginning of is the start of spring. And since last week, well, uh, it was good. Anyway, so if you haven't been here before, the Saturday wrap is me rabbiting on about nothing in particular. Um, usually beer, the weather, tech and things. I try to keep non-political. Um, I usually fail. Um, and it's politics with a small p, usually Welsh politics. Anyway, um, so it's a look back on the week. And um, I've introduced something new this week, which will be app of the week. And that can be mobile or desktop or cloud or whatever. Anyway, let's start off with the word or the phrase of the week. And this is one that's just popped up and it's new or newish. Um, and sometimes the word of the week is something that everyone knows about, but you haven't heard before. And then you get to hear it all over the place. A bit like false number nine or false centre forward. About a fortnight ago, that just was all over the place and I'd never heard of it before. He said, scratching his upper lip. Anyway, the word of the week is actually NFT, non-fungible tokens. Um, it's crypto and it's a way of authenticating that you are an owner of something like um, football cards or baseball cards or art or even Jack Dorsey's first tweet. The whole world is going crazy over it. So that means in the real world, you keep away from it because there'll be lots of scams until the whole thing settles down. NFT, non-fungible tokens. So, yeah, last week after I did this out in the back garden, um, nine degrees Celsius, no wind, which was the big thing, and very sunny. So, apart from starting to dig the garden, which I have to do again today, because I'm only doing it in bits, so I don't do my back end, but it takes ages, not because it's a big soggy mess, because it has been relatively dry, but because there's tons of weeds that need digging out in there. And some potatoes from last year, which if they haven't been eaten to bits, kind of still make nice chips. You win some, you lose some. Um, talking politically, there's talk that some non-essential shops might be allowed to open from next Friday, or the decision will be made next Friday more correctly. So I'm hoping garden centres, because I really need, I really, really need compost. Uh, my soil, like many valleys, places is full of ashes from the coal fires and stuff like that and is not essentially um, very fertile. But what can you do? Anyway, um, so Swedish M40 alcohol stove for hot water for coffee and the Trangia, this time with bioethanol as the fuel for cooking bacon and burgers both on Saturday and Sunday. I have to say, it made me feel really good. Uh, that could just be the sun on my skin creating vitamin D and such like, but yeah, a weather. Well, January and February, always a real downer. Oh, and I had some fine ales as well. I got no glass this week, um, washing up. Um, and I am back into practice. Later on in the afternoons, um, the iPad mini, um, some videos, um, some of them were uh, air traffic control conversations, some of them were classic rock, um, some of them were fine nails. And I just got back into practice, which is good. And I plan to do the same this afternoon, if I haven't done my back in digging the garden. Uh, right, Monday, March the 1st, St. David's Day. I didn't get any Welsh cakes. I should have bought some in advance, but I didn't. And we didn't really celebrate it that much. 
It's a bit of a strange one. Um, I think it's a bit like St. George's Day, where it's not only celebrated. Unlike St. Patrick or St. Andrew's Day. Well, what can you do? Wednesday was the budget. Um, and there's still ructions over that. Um, we will all be paying more taxes, which is unsurprising because we have been borrowing a lot of money and whatever you say about it, yeah, you don't get something for nothing. People want to be paid. There you go. And um, the contactless limit has gone from £45 up to £100. Although there was a sign in Aldi saying that if you've got Apple or Google Pay, it was limitless anyway. Takes me back to last December and the guy in the Apple store complaining about Asda and Apple Pay. Just limit him to 45 quid. And Tesco said that they were going to look at that as well, but nothing ever came of that when I asked. Thursday, on the way home from work, I went to Bragdy Tut Lol my local brewery um and they were selling other beers i've got four cans from abo the full pint cans and two other cans one of them's from deus the other one i can't remember who it's from might be having a look at those this afternoon uh, if you're on twitter or maybe facebook or miwi or mastodon they might end up on there friday I actually withdrew cash. It's the first time this year, and I think it's the first time probably since about September of last year. I think I only used cash for the chip run on a Friday. Friday in work, we have chips. I had a small bag of chips, but it's from a Chinese, and they do huge amounts of chips. And I had a small sausage and butter with it, and it was lovely. And you won't be surprised to hear that um, later on that day, I had to sew a button back on. I still have the skills. I hate it. Uh, luckily, I didn't have my contact lenses in because it's very difficult to um, uh, get the cotton through a needle with your contact lenses in. Um, usually, you take them out and just use your normal eyes or glasses or whatever, but I did it, and it's sewn back on, and it's good to have skills, old-style skills. Talking of that you gain a lot of new friends people who were just acquaintances in the past that if you have it skills during this pandemic i don't mind it but it's a favor <laughs> yeah it's a favor um which tells you all you need to know about um, my job and our it support what can you do Anyway, to end the week, Goose Island did a Cadbury's cream egg beer. I saw on Reddit, it was, I think, on slash r slash saved you a click. It was all right, but didn't taste anything like a Cadbury's cream egg. Beers are a bit like that. And if for no other reason, they get you into, yeah... Beers. We should try more beers. And uh, there was a list this week of weather spoons that are reopening on April the 12th. And surprisingly, all in England, because we still haven't heard anything about pubs opening in Wales. And the First Minister has been a bad boy. He's been in contact with people who have had the Rona. So he's self-isolating. Um, While well, England seems to be getting on with the job. Still no word on vaccines, although apparently in my age group, 22% have had their first jab. It doesn't really bother me at the moment. The pubs are shut. I can go out in the back garden. The sun is out. A UV, B and C kill the virus quite well. And I do have some fine nails in the house and some bacon and some burgers and some bioethanol to cook over. So, altogether, looking positive, which is unusual for me because I like sitting in a pub and being grumpy. Oh, yeah, no pubs. What can you do? Anyway, um, take care, everyone. Um, do what you can do to make things better. 
and feedback as normal. Uh, there's Twitter, there's WordPress, there's MeWe, there's Facebook, and of course there's YouTube. Um, thank you for watching, and the day looks nice if somewhat cold. No frost though. Anyway, um, I'm trying to find the turn off button. Here it is. Bye-bye.